Hey, welcome to Treehouse. Come on in. I'm Siri. A lot of these jewelry pieces are designed here by me. This necklace here is made from a vintage New York Aquarium um, pendant and it's got a little seahorse on it. I just love New York history so much. A lot of it is vintage silk shirts and those are usually what I dye. Uh, sometimes I dye other things as well, but that's the mainstay. So I make a lot of earrings. I, one of the things that I love to make is ear threads. Like what I'm wearing here, they thread through your ear and then they go down the back. They're super comfortable and I think they're kind of elegant. My name is Siri Noel Wilson and I am the owner and designer of Treehouse Brooklyn. We've been open since 2006 and we make clothing and jewelry in sort of a sustainable, upcycled way. And we also sell vintage and fun uh, small apothecary and gifts. So I grew up in Berkeley, California, and uh, my mom was a total uh, hippie, and she was a potter. And so my first job when I was a kid was rolling little balls of clay into little circles to make eyes for these pots that she made. Um, so that was my first job. I got paid one penny. Um, her eye and that got me suck, sucked into crafting and we got most of the clothes from the thrift store and I've always really loved thrift stores because everything is unique and usually made of better quality. We have a wonderful collection of vintage kimonos. They're mostly silk from around the 1930s and 40s. Patchwork from vintage Indian quilts. The weirder the better. In 1999, I believe, I had a friend who had a store on the Lower East Side that was an incredible store filled with all independent designers. And I started making clothes and hand painting and hand dyeing vintage clothes and adding, um, just making really wild stuff. And I had another friend who had a store in Tokyo and she started selling my stuff. And I, it, it all sounds very fantastical, but it was just sort of this interesting progression of things. And then there was a fashion design contest in the Lower East Side for the Lower East Side bid, which is the Business Improvement District. They wanted to have boutiques on the other side of Delancey on Orchard Street, which now if you go down there, there's multiple. Uh, and there wasn't then. So they had a fashion contest and they had 300 or so people apply and then they picked five and I was one of them. We all had this storefront that we had to together come together and build into a store which was kind of like a reality TV show but there were no cameras. It was kind of insane and we barely got along. And then September 11th happened. Um, a few months later we did open the store. Of course New York was still in ruins so it never really took off. Um, and I then started DJing and bartending to make ends meet. And uh, that took over the next few years of my life. I was still doing clothing, but it, you know, both, everything. I was just doing a lot of stuff. They had another round two years later and they found six new people. And nobody else would show up to teach them how to use the credit card machine. Uh, so I did, and so I met all of them, and I befriended a few of them, and one of them ended up being my de my neighbor, and we started hanging out, and then we decided that we wanted to open our own store. When my business partner got pregnant and moved to Connecticut, um, I remembered that I knew how to make jewelry, and so I started making jewelry, and it was fairly successful, and I just kept going with it. I feel like Treehouse also has a bigger mission which is, you know, trying to be a place of community and of making things that aren't extractive of the world and uh, make people happier and more beautiful without taking away from other people like with child labor or poisoning the oceans and rivers or any of the other things that fast fashion does. I'm definitely a quirky creative. Yeah, yeah it's true. Mm. I have to lean into that, I guess. Yeah, you said uh, it like you're in an AA meeting. <laughs> Hi, I'm a quirky creative. Hello, my name is Siri Noel Wilson, and I'm a quirky creative.